In the beginning of the movie, a mysterious girl is seen walking to her class who likes to mind her own business. All of a sudden, a loud scream is heard by everyone and they all rushed outside to the balcony to see what had happened. The girl called Chen immediately goes down and starts walking slowly towards the incident while she cries. It is revealed to be a girl who had suicided. Chen takes her jacket off and puts it on the girl laying lifeless on the floor. She then bursts into tears. The next morning at school she is asked to go to the principal's office for investigation, but she didn't say a single word and leaves after the questioning is done. She heads back to her class and sees a red liquid on her chair which made her recall the same incident that had happened to her friend who suicided earlier. The following day at school while Chen is L waiting for her meal, a group of girls approached her and started bullying her. Chen runs away from there and is seen walking home after school through a shady area, where she ends up encountering the same group of girls who are again bullying her forcefully. It is evident that Chen is going into depression day by day. Once again Chen is going back home through the same shady area where she sees a gang beating an unknown guy which instantly made her call the police, but one of the gang members found out about it and dragged the girl to the scene brutally. They took her money, phone and her bag as well. The gang members told her to kiss the guy they were beating or they would put him to eternal sleep him on the spot. Chen was devastated and to save the miserable guy's life she kissed him. Suddenly, the injured guy grabs an object from the ground and started beating the gang leader who was laughing at them and they flee from the spot. The same night, the guy comes back to Chen to pay off her money that the gang had stolen. But the guy didn't have change. So they went to a mobile repair shop to find some change where he had the girl's phone fixed instead. Since they still couldn't get any change from there either. Right after, we can see that the guy is trying to protect the girl and escorting her home. But she didn't want him to protect her seeing his condition. The guy still didn't stop and wanted to protect the girl. They get to an alley where there were posters of her best friend, which Chen started tearing apart as soon as she saw them. The guy also looked at the poster and looked at Chen with great wonder as if he knew about something. Everybody at her school gets a picture of the same poster and they started making fun of her, and accused her for the suicide which made her burst into tears once again. Chen felt broken inside and she was at her lowest point. However, the same guy shows up on his bike randomly to pick her up and the girl gets on the bike without thinking about it since she was tired of everybody bullying her. The guy took her to his place where he lived and cooked noodles for her. They have a small argument over something and the guy ends up pushing her against the wall forcefully and the girl leaves immediately. The next morning while playing volleyball Chen has a hard time when the same group of girls come back and started hitting her with the ball. Eventually she took a stand for herself and threw the ball back at them while yelling. Later on, when Chen was leaving she was pushed down from the strayers and she got bruises. Chen and the girl who pushed her looked at each other with sheer anger. The same day while she was in the infirmary and couldn't hold the pain anymore she calls the police and let them know about the situation. The police started investigating the same group of girls who acted like they have nothing to do with the bullying or the suicide. The main police officer is seen having dinner with his colleague and told him that he will do everything in his power to solve this case. The next day at school, the parents of one of the girls from the usual bullying group were begging their teacher to reinvestigate the matter because they all got suspended. Her father lost his temper and started punishing her badly in front of the school teacher. In the next scene the same teacher is talking to Chen and told her that she did the right thing and she will be getting a new homeschool teacher soon. She comes home and calls her mother who is out of town for work. Chen tells her mother to come back and leave that illegal work she does but she refused, because that's the only source of income they have. The next evening on her way back home, she encounters the bullying girls who had a box cutter knife and tried to attack Chen but was successfully able to defend herself with the bag she had and ran away from there. The group of girls kept following her until she gets into the garbage bin to save her life. While she was inside her phone rang and one of the girls happened to be there and heard her phone but she showed mercy to her and didn't say anything to her partners in crime and mislead them somewhere else. One day while Chen is crying the same guy shows up out of nowhere. It seems like he cares about her a lot. He takes her back to his place. The girl was so hopeless and scared for her life, she asked him to protect her but she had no money to pay. The guy didn't say anything to her but the silence was the sign that he is willing to do anything for her. The next day onwards he escorted her to school back and forth every single day. He also went to scare the girl who was bullying her and told her to never touch Chen again. Chen's life got a little better after that and we can see that she is gaining her confidence slightly as the time passes and also getting comfortable living with the street guy called Sayo. One night Sayo comes back home and we can see that he had bruises all over his body. Chen watched him take his shirt off and saw his condition and got really sad. They are both laying down in bed where Sayo is telling her about his past. He tells her that his harsh life began since he was 13 years old. His dad left him and his mother and eventually his mom ran away with another guy and abandoned him. He told Chen that she is the only person to understand what he is going through and he silently started crying which also made Chen cry because she could feel his pain that was buried deep inside. From there on it appears that something magical had happened between them and they both were having the time of their life. We can see the love is in the air, but they didn't say anything about it to each other yet. 
they started going out more often on bike rides, eating out and late night adventures and so on. Chen was falling for him so much that she even helped him financially by giving him money from her savings. Zio is seen playing a video game and gaming cafe at night where all of a sudden the police raids and take them into jail for one day. He tried his best to get out of there by requesting the police officer, but he didn't listen at all. Chen kept calling him on his phone but she didn't hear from him the whole night. The next morning Chen had to go to school all by herself because he had no other option left. The bullying group of girls took advantage of her situation and tortured her brutally. They cut her hair off and even torn her clothes apart. When Zio got out of jail cell he tried calling Chen, but she didn't answer which made him worry a lot. He rushed to his home and found out that she was injured fiercely. After seeing her in such abused shape, he couldn't control his emotions and immediately grabs his baseball bat to take revenge. But Chen stopped him and didn't let him go. She grabbed him from behind and there was nothing else left for her but to cry. Zio also grabs her hand slightly to comfort her. In the next scene Zio is seen trimming her hair while he cries his eyes out. Right after he trims his own hair to show love towards Chen, Chen takes a selfie together in the end. It is the exam day and the weather is really bad and it's heavy raining. The students are advised to leave early for their exams. Before everybody go in for their exam their teacher motivates them to pass the exam, and they all started going in one by one. While Chen is attempting her exam paper, Zio gets breaking news on his phone through notification that a body of an unknown woman is found, which was later found out to be the main bully girl. The police started their investigation right away and brought in a friend of Zio whose car was used to commit this murder. It was still a mystery, who exactly put her to eternal sleep. Zio was the one who was under the suspicion radar. Later on, the cops saw a video of Chen getting bullied on social media, and she becomes the prime suspect, after the rest of the girls from the group blamed her for taking girl's life. Chen was acting nervously in front of the cops. The police officer wanted to let her free for now because she had her entrance exams next two days. The lady officer wasn't showing any mercy on her and told the male officer to not get his feeling come in his way for judgment. In the end after a small argument they mutually agreed to let her free until her exams are done. The next day at school while giving her exam Chen couldn't focus on anything and she was having blurry vision. She had a hard time giving the exam but after trying for some time, she was able to focus on the exam. After the exam, Chen is walking alone and the cops are following her. Suddenly, out of nowhere someone grabbed her and pulled her into a cell type area and closed the door so the cops couldn't get it. They ran to an abandoned location where he tells Chen that he's going to turn himself in for her, and she has to say to the cops that he was using her but Chen didn't agree. She kept refusing, but Sayo told her that he has no brain no money and no future left but he loves her to death and she wants her to succeed in life. He also mentions that if she succeeds then he won't feel like a loser. He kissed her one last time right before the cops were about to enter and he started tearing apart her clothes and slapped her a few times, as soon as the cops arrived to take blame for everything so she could have a better life up ahead. The police captured Zio and Chen was left devastated after the only person who cared about her was taken away too. The next scene is the flashback from the past where we can see that the main bully girl is begging Chen to not inform the police what she had done to her. She even tried to give her money but nothing worked. Chen walked away saying that she never wanted to see her again. But the bully girl kept talking her mouth and kept saying things about Chen's mom. In the end she couldn't control herself and pushed down the main bully girl which resulted in her instant eternal sleep on the spot. Now it all makes sense that the street guy was covering up for her mistakes and took all the blame for something that he didn't even do. The cops also figured out that the street guy used to follow Chen every day to school which lead them to a connection between them. Another flashback comes where the street guy assures her that he will protect her no matter what it takes even if it takes the remainder of his life. He will do it. The street guy was shown the brutal video of Chen getting bullied during interrogation. He was raged from inside after watching it but he acted as if he doesn't even care. The police officer tried his best to break them mentally and emotionally, but everything he tried resulted in a failure. After getting tired of them he brought Chen to the room where the street guy was getting interrogated. They looked at each other with pure love, but refused to know each other. Chen slapped Sayo right away and made the cops even more frustrated that they are not telling the truth. In the next scene Chen is seen again walking and thinking about her lover where on the other hand Sayo is in jail now. She is having a hard time living with such pain and cries every day. It is revealed that Chen passed her exam with a really good high score and her mother is really proud of her. The police officer also shows up at their door to congratulate Chen and tells her that she is free now. He came to say goodbye one last time, but before that, he reveals to her that he has a good news for her. That the street guy is getting a death sentence which broke Chen emotionally. She couldn't focus or take control over her feelings and started pushing and slapping the police officer. After some struggle, he told her that he was lying and there is no death sentence. He asked her to come forward for what she's done and not let an innocent man go into prison for years. She started crying her eyes out right after listening to that. The next day, Sayo gets a visitor who happened to be Chen. As soon as they saw each other they started feeling all kinds of emotions. They were clearly excited to see each other and cried at the same time for a good minute. 
Later on they are both seen going different paths inside the police van. Chan was found guilty of involuntary putting someone to eternal sleep and received a light sentence of four years in prison. The case became a great government and public concern and they took actions towards it. It not only introduced heavier penalties toward juveniles involved in bullying, but also started the implementation of a campus safety plan. Twenty years later Chen is seen teaching an English class, where she notices another victim of bullying. In the next scene she is walking the girl home and once again the same street guy is following them back home to protect them but this time he is in good shape and appeared to be living a good life. Subscribe to NRecaps for more love and romance recaps and let us know in the comments what movie would you like to watch next.